Ecclesiastes chapter 30. He that loveth his son causeth him oft to fill the rod, that he may have joy of him in the end. He that chastiseth his son shall have joy in him, and shall rejoice of him among his acquaintance. He that teacheth his son grieveth the enemy, and before his friends he shall rejoice of him. Though his father die, yet he is as though he were not dead, for he hath left one behind him that is like himself. While he lived, he saw and rejoiced in him, and when he died, he was not sorrowful. He left behind him an avenger against his enemies, and one that shall requite kindness to his friends. He that maketh too much of his son shall bind up his wounds, and his bowels will be troubled at every cry. And horse not broken becometh headstrong, and a child left to himself will be willful. Cocker thy child, and he shall make thee afraid. Play with him, and he will bring thee to heaviness. Laugh not with him, lest thou have sorrow with him, unless thou gnash thy teeth in the end. Give him no liberty in his youth, and wink not of his faults. Bow down his neck while he is young, and beat him on the sides while he is a child, lest he wax stubborn, and be disobedient unto thee, and so bring sorrow to thine heart. Chastise thy son, and hold him to labor, lest his smooth behavior be an offense unto thee. Better is the poor, being sound and strong of constitution, than a rich man that is afflicted in his body. Health and good estate of body are above all gold, and a strong body above infinite wealth. There is no riches above a sound body, and no joy above the joy of the heart. Death is better than a bitter life or continual sickness. Delicates poured upon a mouth shut up are as messes of meat set upon a grave. What good doeth the offering unto an idol? For neither can it eat or smell, so is he that is persecuted of the Lord. He seeth with his eyes, and groaneth, as an eunuch that embraceth a virgin, and sigheth. Give not over thy mind to heaviness, and afflict not thyself in thine own counsel. The gladness of the heart is the life of men, and the joyfulness of a man prolongeth his days. Love thine own soul, and comfort thy heart. Remove sorrow far from thee, for sorrow hath killed many, and there is no profit therein. Envy and wrath shorten the life, and carefulness bringeth age before the time. The cheerful and good heart will have a care of his meat and diet, 